Hello everybody, Epic Box here, and this time on Scratch I have for you particle systems. I have several particle systems I'm going to show you. What a particle system is, is it ba it's basically like a system or a, like sprite or game object or whatever that sprays out a bunch of particles. And these are used in many places, basically in any game where you see particles. It's for, you know, snow, explosions, um, magic, fire, all those kind of things that require particles. So, several particle systems to show you today. First one is an explosion, which is taking a little bit to create itself. Basically, what the explosion is doing is first off, the bomb, pretty simple code, but then the shrapnel is a little bit different. Basically, it will create a bunch of random shrapnel pieces centered on the bomb. And then using this and this, it will explode them all at once. So when, it's, so when each shrapnel piece starts, it waits until it's time for them all to explode. And it sets a random speed, random direction, and a random costume. It's these three. And then it explodes outward as you can see like that also I have another particle system in here which is my firework particle system which as you can see make smiley face fireworks and the way I'm doing this is the, it's a little bit different from this shrapnel it's a lot more complicated in this in this shrapnel we're just creating a bunch of random shrapnel pieces. In this one, we have several more vari variables that will help each piece to gain its direction, position, and how far it's going to go. That basically controls everything it needs to do. And it's, cre you're, it's creating a clone of itself instead of, of the sprite. That's very important. So this section right here creates the outer part of smiley face. This section right here creates the eyes. And this section right here creates the mouth. And then on each particle, it basically takes in the parameters it has and then explodes outward depending. I think it looks quite nice. Explosions aren't the only thing you can make with particle system. You can make many, many other things, such as fire, which is what I'm going to show you next. This is my animated torch. As you can see, I can move it around. The flame will follow the torch. And I personally think that the flame looks really nice. The flame is just a bunch of these fire particles. And they will go up, moving back and forth slightly and getting smaller, more transparent, and redder as they go up. This is all the code that does that. And this is actually how almost all fire is made in basically all the games that have fire. It's made like this. Usually for big fires, instead of having a bunch of circular-ish things, you have more wisps for like forest fires and stuff. But most torches are made in this fashion. And so if you move it back and forth, the flame follows realistically. It's a bit slow because I'm recording right now, but I still think it looks very nice. And as you can see, it get more redder and more transparent and smaller as they go on. So that's what particle systems are. I hope that this information is useful for making your own Scratch projects. That's all I really have time for right now. I will see you next time on Scratch.